Phil Donahue's guests this morning have a warning. They say watch out for punk rock. It could be hazardous to your children's health. Let's go to Chicago. We were, in the press, considered a menace to society. You knew right away if somebody was on your team and there wasn't many. You know, it was a secret kind of music and it was different. Various versions of socialism and anarchy and sort of mixtures of in-between things like that were coming out through lyrics just basically said, we want to run our own lives. I mean, I think one of the most important chapters of the history of rock and roll, history of music, was the time that all the kids got together wrote their own songs, formed their own bands, put on their own shows, put out their own records, made their own magazines, set up their own touring networks, you know, set up this whole thing. And the major labels were completely unaware. Like every creative movement, it starts with an underground base and it attracts people that are like-minded and if it has enough depth to it, it becomes co-opted by the, the main culture. When I first started getting punk, to have a hot topic, I would be like, what? A place that has t-shirts that's already made and I don't have to go to a show. This is one of the best tours for the casualties because we get in front of so many new kids. I believe punk rock should be able to listen to by everyone and it's all varying degrees of punk rock. I want to get our music to everyone. UK subs and strangleholds. Everybody thought we were being hip and underground. We didn't think we were being hip and underground. We thought we were selling out, doing very commercial stuff. Flavor of the fucking week. Oh, I'm gonna sing about big business and, you know, this, that, yet I'm gonna make all this money for this big company. Social problems, that's what punk was about. Who's a punk? I don't know, I'm not a cop. When you got a kid that got his entire outfit from Hot Topic, he's telling you that you're not punk. <laughs> There's something wrong there. <laughs> It's never been a punk revival because punk's never been away. It all went underground. I think punk rock has changed a lot of people's lives much for the better. These kids weren't even a sperm when we were playing. We're going to do it on our terms. We play our music the way we want to play it. It's more of a family than I've ever had. If I have to play basement shows the rest of my life, I don't really care. I have more fun and am happier as a human being when I'm playing music.